Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update for your top stories today. Boston police are stepping up patrols at media outlets throughout the city. It comes after a gunman opened fire at a Maryland newspaper yesterday, killing five people. Police in other cities are stepping up security as well. Several police officers were spotted outside the New York Times offices. Police say the extra security is merely a precaution. Tomorrow, thousands are expected to march through Boston, protesting against the separation of immigrant families. The rally starts at 11 a.m. at City Hall Plaza and ends at the Boston Common. Senator Elizabeth Warren and Congressman Joe Kennedy are expected to join that march. Marconi Beach in Wellfleet is now officially back open. These are the brand new stairs down to the beach after they were washed away in heavy rains last summer. That storm also caused a sinkhole to open up and swallow up a car at the Cahoon Hollow Beach parking lot. The lot, by the way, is also back open. Let's check in with meteorologist Barry Burbank now. And Barry, it's going to be a week to hit the beach for sure. And that's it, Chris. It's going to be really hot for many, many days to come. And where you will find relief is will be at the, all the beaches because it looks like every single day there's going to be an onshore breeze to cool it off. There's a crystal clear sky this morning, except in the outer cape where just some lingering low clouds and fog are burning off there quickly. They pretty much already have. Nantucket should be getting into the sunshine eventually this morning. So we're looking at sunshine all over the place, looking really good. And that bright late June sunshine is going to heat us up. So we'll be around the 84 degree mark at the beaches this afternoon with a light onshore breeze after it's mostly an offshore breeze through midday. And the high tide will be occurring just a little after 1 o'clock. The water temperature is 60 to 66. And the seas are running around 2 to 4 feet, especially along the North Shore and up in the New Hampshire main coast. Um, so finally, some of the surfers have got a few waves to do a little bit of surfing in. It's been flat seas here for quite a while. High temperatures near 90 degrees just inland, a couple miles from the ocean. These sea breezes this afternoon will be rather subtle, but just enough to make slight cooling at the beaches as we have the tide high early in the afternoon then going on out. Now, later this afternoon, could be a few showers of thunderstorms up here in New Hampshire and Maine, but otherwise, we're looking at some hot weather. In fact, it's almost the same thing every single day with very slight uh, subtle changes in the temperature, but mostly 90 to 95 each day, mostly in the 80s at the coast. There might be a couple of those days when the sea breeze would penetrate a bit farther inland. That would be later Sunday, so that might cool areas maybe 15 or 20 miles inland back into the 80s. But otherwise, nothing but Triple H, Chris. All right, Barry, thank you very much. Good week to be on vacation. Thanks for checking in with us. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.